In Ohio, it is a guilty verdict for a former high school gym teacher charged with having sex with five teenage boys, all students at her school. As WCPO's Deb Silverman reports, the teacher got an earful from the judge and from some angry parents. Stacy Schuler blows kisses to her parents, and in a matter of minutes, she's booked in the Warren County Jail. Some former students came to the courthouse after school to hear the verdict. They say the trial has created quite a distraction in the classrooms. She was my teacher. I mean, it was kind of weird to watch your own teacher get taken away in the prison. A lot of people that knew the boys feel sorry for the boys, and a lot of people that were really good, close with her feel sorry for her. You can walk in the hallway and you just hear people talking about it. Judge Robert Peeler sentenced Schuler to four years in prison for having sex with five students and providing them with alcohol. He says she will be eligible for release in six months. The judge gave her a chance to talk. While Schuler had nothing to say, parents of two of the victims and the judge had plenty of strong words for her. These young men may appear as if they are tough guys. But in reality, they are truly hurting. He suffered through depression. He lost motivation, almost didn't go to college. You don't meet the definition of insanity. You clearly have some mental health issues, which I'm considering and will continue to consider uh, as I deal with you, ma'am. But you crossed a line. Uh, you wouldn't be here if they weren't your students. Attorneys say that's because the students were 17 at the time of the crimes and the sex was consensual. Deb Silverman for ABC News, Lebanon, Ohio. And then sanity plea was, yeah, it was based around her use of alcohol. But they brought in a psychologist who said it doesn't kind of meet the standard that you could blame your drinking on, you know, what you are. You blame your act on the drinking. And so. this was a very experienced educator. She actually was a gym teacher in suburban Cincinnati for 11 years. And now her career obviously is over. She's heading to jail. And, you know, those boys, obviously, their parents saying that they're emotionally scarred from all of this. We hear so many of these cases. It's just weird how these things develop. This is certainly not the first time that we've heard about such a scandal here. How it starts is beyond me.